Alright, hey guys, how you doing? I know this video is kind of late on the news because I, I, don't, I just go walking for five hours a day trying to lose weight. I say lose weight, guys. Please come in the comments. Um, to begin this situation, I want to talk about the Fortnite Apple situation. So, Fortnite was able to upload and update the app through, a, what, through the previous update. But, here's the problem. It isn't connected to the newest update, meaning you still get the little meow souls, you still get jewels, you still have all the bosses and everything else, but you don't get the new update, you don't get new Marvel skins, you don't get, you don't get the trio, all the new stuff. You're just getting the god dang minimum. At the very end, all I can say is you can definitely see I'm playing uh, Minecraft. One sec, can I get my hand? Yeah, you see right there, that's my Minecraft. It's on my computer, so don't worry. Now, to begin this, I want to begin by, I don't think this is the, this is, I guess, a way to get people to play Fortnite on the phone, which, I'll give them credit. Good job, Fortnite. But at the exact same time, this is kind of a cross between a good thing and a bad thing, because now that people are playing Fortnite normally, it's at the same time, it's a crutch because now you can't play with your favorite Marvel skins and you can't play with your friends. This is the second part I want to say. I'm going to use my right hand now because I'm going to use my left hand. Cool beats. Now basically, to begin this, I want to say that Fortnite is a big platform. It has a like, Nintendo Switch to, um, to computer, to Xbox, to PlayStation, you name it. A bunch of consoles. But with the... Fortnite on iPhone, however, you cannot play with normal players. You can only play with iPhone users themselves. Meaning you can only play people that play on the iPad, iPhone, and any other genre between there. In the very end, I will say that this is a very unfair move from Epic because comparing to iPlay Mobile, and I love the new seasonal map updates like the um, new Sentinel things, uh, I've seen them on YouTube, I can't play on my computer, it runs like garbage. But, like, I would have loved to see the Sentinels, or whatever the hell it is. I would have loved to see the new skins, or get the new suit updates, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But that won't happen, because, for now, Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4 is locked on Apple, but is completely active. Now, I feel like this is gonna hurt, I feel like this whole reason to put it back on the iPhone is to hurt Apple even more, due to the fact that... On the phone version, it is still linked to the Apple Pay. Meaning, it's going to make less people play the game because you aren't getting the new skins or whatever it is. And you're going to get less of a experience. I mean, you're going to ruin the experience for the Apple users and you end up losing most of the competition on Apple. Making less people use the Apple version. Which is completely fine. I get that completely. This whole video is like... Four minutes, three minutes long. This is a, a legit important video. Now, I'm an Apple user. I always use Apple. So, nevertheless, I'm always going to use it. Um, mainly because it's easy to pay for V-Bucks now. So, my dad hates it that I pay for V-Bucks on my phone because he thinks I'm wasting money. He just nodded. I, I actually do waste money on V-Bucks and, and Poke Coins. And I do that. I have my sins. Don't worry. You all have sins. That is my sin. And everyone knows this now. Now, at the very end, would I say that this is the right move for Apple or Epic Games in general to release Fortnite back to the phone? Mm. Yes and no. Because, yes, now players can play with a the game again. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. But at the same time, now you're kind of limited to what you can play and limited to how you can play the game in general. Which, at the very end, makes me feel like Epic Games knew that they were going to get banned and they just put the last-ditch effort to bring the game back. But in the very end, this just shows that Epic Games did have a plan, but it was poorly executed. Even if... Um, they are planning to do something else. Now, between you and me, I am putting all this guidance on the map video map Pat made, which was the Epic's massive plan to raid to bring the I think the Epic Game Store on the Apple Store, which is I I like that. I kind of like that concept in general. Now, in the very end. Yes, they would lose money from Apple, but at the same time, I feel like that would help Apple. Probably, probably not. I don't even blame no. 
But at the very end, um, do I agree with this whole situation? I it's a mixed reaction. It's a mixed bundle of sticks. So yes and no. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, in the very end, yes, mobile returned, but it's not the way we wanted it. So in the very end, I feel like this is gonna make less players play Fortnite because in the very end, it kind of shows that Epic Games has a plan, but they didn't plan it correctly and ended up hurting them in a way. Why not? Tell me in the comments what you think. Um, I love your parents, okay? Your parents love you, love them, okay? That's what I'm gonna say. Now, if you guys did like this video, uh, smash like button. I know it's not a video game video, me playing Minecraft or TF2 or something, or the forest or the Pookums or something, but it's something. It, it works. I guess it, I guess it kind of works. It works for a video. I get to upload things tonight. But in the very end, this kind of an educational video, kind of like the videos that came out during the, um, the, um, video. Basically, these are very similar to the videos that came out for when the, um, I think the COPA thing happened. In the very end, I will say that those videos are so important to my heart, and these kind of videos are like, eventually to educate you guys on I know they're not the best professional. I know it's on the camera was probably gonna be a very blurry mic. Um, yeah, it's probably the mic can be half blurred. You probably heard that the drying. That's the drying. I gotta get this video done. <laughs> now, um, at the very end, I hope you guys understand the whole situation. Um, probably Apple, Epic Games, Fortnite probably won't be coming back to the Apple Store enough for a while, to be honest. At the very end. Um, I agree with this whole situation, and I think that this was a right move, and not a right, this is a good move, but not the best move in the whole situation, but at the very end, this, I guess, this is a last ditch to, to Chepper, and yeah, that's it. Now, all I can say is, for anyone that does play mobile, I feel bad for you, um, it is, I do feel bad, it, you have to play with kids who probably don't have a xbox or a computer and probably then they still bat the game so you have like three good players and 90 percent bad players but i mean there are like a ton of good mobile players too so also i want to talk about something important if you don't know epic games had this massive event for you can get free computers and xbox but they did make, but they made it cross-platform, and all the people who got that stuff weren't on mobile. They were on PC, Xbox, and everything else, but no mobile players, from my acknowledgement, got any prizes. Epic Games, what the hell? Now, at the very end, uh, let me end the video here. I'm gonna end this, I think I talked like eight minutes. I don't get monetized, but hey. Eight minutes, good practice. Um, that's it, I'm gonna end it here. Um, also, if you didn't notice, I'm losing weight. No, you, you, you probably don't see it since my last base game video. Go, go go back it up and that's my dad laughing. I don't know if you can hear in the mic. For some reason, my iPhone mic is really good, and I don't know if I you if they heard that laugh or not. If you did, please tell me in the comments. Yeah, I know that. I I heard it. I heard it. <laughs> Before I end the video, though, I want to say I am not sponsored by anything. No, no, no. But I do want to say, love your parents. Your parents do a lot for you, and yes, they might scream and be a complete asshole, but they love you. They still love you. And my dad complains that I have spent 40 to $50 in a week playing video games. And in return, yes, that's a stupid purchase. But, but they do that to teach a lesson. And they're doing it to teach you that you need to do better choices in life. So, if they ever do something, <clears throat> always listen to them. Don't always think that's all bad or don't think it's all good. Just listen to them, understand their personality, understand that they know a lot more about the real world than you. And at the very end, respect your parents. I actually understand this. I learned a lot of this from my dad my mom. They teach me a lot of this stuff. And I kind of understand a lot of these legal situations are based around how the community and all that are handling this in general and a lot of times people don't handle things well so in general i'm taking all these experiences and putting them into these vi this video because in the very end i think that my personal experiences with the app and 
situational wise with Tholdus going to Aflim Epic should be notified that I am taking this as if how anyone else would handle it as a very calm manner while well, some people are handling it with an iron f <sighs> an iron fist of death okay I think that's enough I think I'm done saying it's like 10 minutes now but if you did like this video um Subscribe, smash the like button, uh, notifications on. I am not uploading as much, mainly because I'm trying to take a break from recording and I'm not going to record every single day like I used to. Mainly because I just want to take a break from all the stress of recording and just kind of take it easy. I'm going to let you guys know this. Uh, hopefully you guys understand this whole situation. To me, I'm kind of taking the situation a bit harder than most, but that's fine because the very end of the world is not the same. Now, um... <clears throat> Stay safe, guys. I'll see you next video. I hope you guys fully understand the whole situation at this point, and that I hope you understand that this is a big ongoing crisis. It is probably not going to be done for the next couple days, mainly because it's the first court case in Epic's plan, and there is about like four more, I think. Yikes! This is not going to be good, to be honest. This is not going to be good. But if you like this video. You know what to do. Also, um, ring. You see, you see that little bell button right that right down there. You smash that thing. You destroy that because when you destroy that bell button, it tells you that you are that you can watch my videos when they come out. There'll be a lot more videos about this whole situation as more and more raffles out. Um, they probably won't be as long as this one. Yeah, because this one is kind of an overview. Um, this is my take on the Fortnite versus Epic situation. I hope you guys understand this whole situation in general. Have a wonderful day, and hopefully you guys understand the whole case and scenario. I'm going to hop in Minecraft and then probably make a video tomorrow around 3-ish, or probably next day. Who bloody knows? I just like recording. Lamb! Lamb!